What I have on stage right now is a set of light bulbs in series. What that means is that the electricity is first going through one light bulb and then trying to go through the second light bulb. Unfortunately, I have broken the second light bulb and nothing is lit because there are two metal wires stuck in a piece of glass and they're separated from each other by about a quarter of an inch. Typically, people believe that glass does not conduct electricity. Most people will tell you that glass doesn't conduct electricity. In fact, my textbook uses glass as, as, as its example of something that doesn't conduct electricity. But you know, it's interesting. Pure water doesn't conduct electricity, but if you add salt to it, then water conducts electricity. Pure silicon dioxide also doesn't conduct electricity in any situation, but if you add salt to it, then it will conduct electricity too. And soda glass, which is what this is made of, is salt added to black silicon dioxide. The problem is, is that the ions are frozen in place. The glass is so cold that the ions can't move around. But similarly, ice won't conduct electricity either. But if I can heat up the ions enough so that they can start to move, then it will start to conduct electricity. So let's watch that. So it'll take it a little while to heat up the glass enough that it'll be glowing orange hot. There it goes. So it's starting to glow orange. And so now the ions can move through the glass and make the light bulb light up. One of the amazing bits about this thing, at least one of the things I think is really amazing, is that this keeps glowing orange. The, what's called ohmic heating, the heating of the electricity going through the glass, keeps the glass hot there. And I'm actually told that at recycling mills, what they'll do is they'll take the big puddle, they'll take the big crush thing of glass, take a torch, heat up a little puddle, put in electrodes, run electricity through it, then slowly move the electrodes apart until the whole puddle is molten. It's by far the most efficient way. Almost all of the energy goes into melting the glass. So it's very clever. If I unplug this, the light goes out. But as long as I plug it in before the orange goes completely away, you can do it. Clap for Tinkerbell. It'll come back. And it'll start glowing again. However, if I let it go all the way out and get it completely cold, then the ions will once again be frozen in place, unable to move, and so there'll be no more conduction. And now the glass is an insulator once again, just like the textbook says. Um, if you are in middle school, though, and they ask you on the test if glass is a non-conductor, go ahead, tell them it's a conductor. You tell them to write to me when your teacher counts you wrong on it. Be a rebel, you can do it. Awesome.